Hi, I'm Amanda French. I'm the AppCamp coordinator here at the Center for History and New Media at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. And even though it makes me feel a little bit like one of those flight attendants on the airline videos, I am here to welcome you to that camp. That camp is the Humanities and Technology Camp, and it is an unconference. Uh, an unconference is to a conference what a seminar is to a lecture. So we academics should really, I think, understand that distinction pretty well. That camp was begun in 2008 by a couple of graduate students here at the center, Dave Lester and Jeremy Boggs. They were supported in this endeavor by the director of the center, Dan Cohen, and the managing director, Tom Scheinfeld. Tom Scheinfeld wrote a great blog post uh, outlining the ground rules of that camp, which are as follows. Have fun, be productive, and stay collegial. You can go read that blog post on his blog at foundhistory.org if you like. But I want to talk to you a little bit about those rules right now. So have fun is a bit of an odd rule to have, given that it is not really possible to mandate fun. I will assuage any worries you may have right now by telling you that we, you will not be required to do skits at that camp. Um, at least no that camp that I've ever been to has required that kind of thing. Um, nevertheless, it's important when you're learning technology to have a sense of play, to feel able to play with it. Um, and similarly, it's important for a general sense of being open to new ideas to have that kind of attitude of play. So we're hoping that that's something that you can get into at that camp. And being a humanist, I kind of just enjoy sitting around with other people and talking about things. I find that fun. Um, so we're hoping you have fun at that camp. The second rule is to be productive. Um, having fun and being productive are, in fact, uh, mutually reinforcing things. Um, similarly, because I'm a humanist, as I just said, um, I find sitting around in a circle talking about things to often be very, very productive, particularly things we often have anxiety about, such as using technology in humanities study. Um, so, but being productive can, can amount to a number of things, and uh, very often, um, things that are more obviously productive than just sitting around having a productive discussion. So we encourage you at that camp to um, code things, to build things, to even co-write things together, whatever you may be comfortable with. Um, you can certainly just propose a session in which you say, hey, let's go do this thing, let's make a start on this thing that I've had in mind for quite a while. Or even just um, you know, come up with an idea for a project that might get realized after that camp. We encourage you to do that. Uh, the third rule of that camp is to stay collegial. And this is not a rule that has really had to be enforced much because I think the, the very format of an unconference tends to encourage people to be collegial. Uh, but then, nevertheless, you know, we encourage people at that camp to make no distinctions about rank or even technology skill level or profession. Um, at that camp, we get people from all uh, disciplines, mostly humanities disciplines, but many other disciplines, including computer science, social sciences. Uh, we get librarians, archivists, software engineers. We get graduate students. We get advanced faculty. And so the idea is not to judge anybody based on um, you know, their title and not to judge any, anybody based on what they do or don't know about technology. Um, there's another sort of informal uh, rule at that camp, which is one that's well known in unconference circles as the law of two feet. Um, this means that uh, you should, if a session is not productive for you, use your two feet to go to another session. Um, it can be difficult because we are all acculturated to be polite. Um, and to sit through even the most dull of sessions. Uh, but nevertheless, at that camp, we encourage you, uh, just if a session is not working, even if you proposed it and are running it, uh, we encourage you to leave that session if it's just not working out. Um, the beauty of an unconference is that uh, a schedule that's made at the last minute on the first day um, feels less carved in stone than something set by a program committee many months ago. Um, so you can add new sessions at the last minute or you can just uh, ditch sessions that aren't working. Um, so it's a kind of a, a corollary to the be productive rule is that you should use your two feet to go to uh, other sessions if one is not working for you. Um, that's about all I have for you. Uh, of course, if you'd like to learn more about that camp, please visit thatcamp.org and you can see lists of upcoming that camps and so on there. Enjoy yourself at that camp.